guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the products I have been loving in the month of November. So honey, welcome to my November favorites. I actually missed out on a favorites video for October because October is Halloween. I was super focused on Halloween looks so I wasn't really doing any kind of regular makeup. So there wasn't really anything that I discovered in the month of October that I really loved and I wanted to share. So I figured I would skip out on a October favorites but here we are with a November favorites. I have a lot of goodies to talk about with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in to today's video. By the way, before we jump in, let me know what you guys think about this look now that I'm looking at it I'm like dang I probably should have filmed this look I feel like this is the perfect soft glam for like New Year's I don't know let me know if you guys want to see this makeup tutorial because I'm kind of feeling it I don't know what you guys think about it but I love the shimmer on the lid so definitely let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I achieved this look and yes now let's go ahead and jump in before we jump in please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you guys would like to know all the things I've been loving in the month of November, I just keep on watching. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into these favorites because I have quite a few things to talk about. So the first thing that I want to talk about has to do with lighting. I get so many questions about what camera I use, my lighting, my setup, and all of the above. And girl, let me tell you, I have that video coming. I'm just trying to perfect it just a little bit more. I feel like it's never going to be perfect. If you have a YouTube channel yourself, then you know you are constantly just looking at different kind of ways, different kind of lighting equipment to make your video quality better. But as far as a couple months ago till now, I feel like the lighting in my videos look really good. It's really crisp or really clean and the picture itself just looks really nice and illuminated if that makes sense. So I have been using another ring light which I'm super excited to talk about in today's video. So the ring light is from the brand EVC. I'm not sure if I said that right but it's a super cool ring light you guys. They did send this ring light over which I'm super appreciative for. I honestly didn't even think that my lighting was lacking until I incorporated a second ring light and let me tell you blown away it looks 10 times better than what it looked like before so the cool thing about this specific ring light is it comes with a ton of attachments first of all so you can connect your camera you can connect your phone you can use it for TikTok you can use it for YouTube whatever you like to use it for of course you can just use it for photos like the actual phone holder you can use it to take your photos super cool super easy and super convenient it is such a good ring light you guys first of all it has a digital screen which i'm going to try my best to get footage of the ring light itself so i can actually show you guys what it looks like but it does have a digital screen on it so it tells you exactly the voltage it tells you how high the light goes how low it goes and you can change it from completely having it white light to yellow light so it'll go completely cool and it also goes completely warm and you can also like interchange them and you can also combine them as well and the best part is that this ring light comes with a remote. I cannot tell you how convenient this is, you guys. This remote saves my life because I cannot tell you with all the rest of my lighting, I have to physically get out my chair. I have to physically go and actually switch on the light or dim the light and stuff like that. So this here is super, super convenient. So you do have the remote with the ring light and it does have a digital screen. So the screen on here looks exactly like the screen that's on the ring light itself. And you basically can just control your ring light through the remote itself. So this will completely shut off the ring light it will turn on the ring light it would also dim the ring light whatever you prefer change it from warm to cool from cool to warm um, so it's super super convenient if you guys have been on the market for a really good ring light I highly recommend this one you guys know I will not recommend something that I do not love and I have not been using myself I've had this ring light for over a month now and they were so amazing they allowed me to definitely test it out first and see how I liked it because anytime a brand reaches out I do let them know that I want to try the products for a little while because I want to make sure I genuinely love it because you know after all I'm here because of you guys and I would not be doing this if it weren't for you guys so I want to make sure that I'm recommending the best things always so I wanted to quickly just show you guys what my lighting would look like without this ring light and what it looks like with it on so this is with the ring light on this is with actually all my lights on I do have other lighting besides that ring light However, I'll share all the rest of the lighting in the video that I'm going to do showing you guys my setup. Um, I think that video is going to be super convenient because I am in a very 
tiny space you guys like literally my vanity is like right here like girl I have my little water jug right over here that is how close my vanity is so girl honey listen you just gotta work with what you got sometimes so it's a very small space but I feel like I found the right lighting that's gonna work for me that gives me really nice light but doesn't take up too much space so I will be sharing that in that video but really quickly let me just show you guys what it looks like off so this is obviously the ring light on and if I go ahead and shut it off this is what the video looks like with the light off. So even though that one ring light was shut off, I still have on a second ring light right now and two panels of lighting, which is insane because I promise you that ring light that I'm showing you guys and I'm telling you guys you definitely need gives me the most light. It is insane. So like I said, this is with the ring light off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on one more time and I am using the remote. Boom. And that's what it looks like with the ring light on. So it makes a huge difference in my video. Um, I did get some questions over on Instagram, actually. You guys were like, girl, did you do anything with your video? Because it just looks a little bit more brighter. It just looks a little bit more, like, crisp and clean. And I was like, mm, trying to hide it because I didn't really want to tell you guys yet. But yes, I did do something different in my video. I now am using two ring lights and two panel lights. I do have a reflector in front of me as well to make sure the lighting is nice and reflected and it's bouncing off of everywhere. That way, honey, everything looks nice and bright. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys really quickly. It's definitely a, one of my favorites of this past month. I've been using it so much. And if you guys don't know, I also started a TikTok and I actually used that ring light for my TikTok videos. Girl, it's bomb. So like I said, they were kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. If you guys are interested, I'm going to leave that code down below in the description box as well as the link to the ring light so you guys can go ahead and check it out if you're interested. Okay guys, so now that we went over the ring light as my first favorite, let's jump into some makeup products. So the first favorite that I have this month is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. You guys, this bronzing palette is so good. It's also from the brand Essence. If you guys have not heard of Essence before, it's a super affordable drugstore brand. Girl, I'm not talking like ColourPop affordable, Maybelline affordable, maybe not even e.l.f. affordable. I'm talking like $3 products, $5 mascara. I think this set right here is $10. And a lot of the times at Ulta, they do a sale on the brand Essence. Um, not too long ago, they were having like 40% off the entire brand and it's already super cheap. So imagine 40% off of a $10 palette. This palette was $6, which is incredible. So this is what it looks like right here. I feel like this palette is really nice and versatile. I feel like it has a lot of shades. It has lighter shades, deeper shades, and I feel like a lot of skin tones can get away with using this as a bronzing palette. I love it. I also love the fact that this palette is not too cool. I feel like usually with bronzing and contour palettes, the colors in them are really, really cool. They look almost gray. And most of the time, I cannot use all the shades in these palettes because they're either too, too light or they're too, too dark. And this one is just perfect okay I love it so I've been loving this if you guys are on the market for a good bronzer or even if you're a makeup artist and you're just starting out or even if you just want a really bomb affordable bronzing palette that is super affordable at the drugstore definitely pick this one up and I got mine at Ulta you can get it in store and online as well next up I want to talk about a foundation and I feel like I'm cheating because I've only used this one time I know but you guys I've told you this multiple times I am someone that if I try something and right off the bat, I can tell you if I hate it or if I love it. Like maybe once in a while, it's going to take me a few times to get to learn how to use the product or use it with different things. But when it comes to foundation, I know right then and there if I love it or if I hate it, if it's just going to sit in my drawer until it's expired and it's time to throw it out or if I see myself using it more than once and girl, this foundation is beautiful. So I only used it one time and I did use it today for this makeup look right here. And honestly, you guys, look at the skin. It looks full coverage because it is. You cannot see any flaws through my skin whatsoever. I am amazed. I love it. It looks so smooth and so beautiful. You guys know I love me a full coverage foundation, but this is like full coverage on another level. I ended up using way too much. I actually had to wipe some off of my face because I was like, wow, a little bit of this goes such a long way. I probably should stop rambling and just tell you guys what foundation it is, right? Girl, all this talking 
So this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This is what the foundation looks like right here. I am in the shade 2.18 if you guys are interested. It says 2.18. It's a light to medium foundation with a neutral undertone. I typically like a neutral undertone. Sometimes I go for a warmer undertone. It kind of just depends on the foundation that I'm buying at the moment. Um, but this one, obviously, it matches perfectly. And like I said, the coverage is incredible. Girl, I love it. It is so good. So I wanted to quickly mention that to you guys. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried that foundation or have you heard of it. I feel like I don't see much people talk about that foundation a lot besides like when it launched. I've seen a couple reviews, um, but it's really good. So moving on, I want to talk to you guys about some Morphe products. Are you surprised? I feel like I warned y'all in my Nikita and Morphe video that I was gonna be talking about these because I was blown away, let me tell you. So let's go ahead and talk about the concealer first. So this is the Morphe concealer. This concealer is amazing, like I love it. It is so good. The only downside with this concealer specifically is like I mentioned in that video, the wand on here, it does not pick up that much product so I'm constantly having to dip back in the tube. It almost makes me feel like I use a lot of concealer, but I really don't. It's because a lot of product doesn't come off on the actual wand when you pull it out of the tube itself. So that I don't like. I feel like it takes me longer. I feel like with most of my concealers, I can just take the wand out one time and it has enough product on the wand for actually both my eyes and everywhere else on my face that I like to highlight with concealer. But with this one, it's definitely different and I have to dip back in a few times. However, okay, I look past that because the formula is amazing and I always crease with concealer. And let me tell you, I do not crease with this one. It is so good, you guys. I can't even tell you how good it is. You have to go out and try it for yourself. Morphe is super affordable and I feel like they're always having a sale. So definitely snag this. I do use two different shades. So I use the shade 1.65, which is this one right here. This is kind of the shade that matches me perfectly and it's a little bit brightening, but you guys know, as you can see today, I like a really bright under eye. So I also go in with the shade C1.55 which is this shade right here. And this one is definitely super light. Like I can't wear this one on its own. I like to apply it just in this like inner part of my eye right here, just where I want it to be super bright. So sometimes I mix them, sometimes I don't, but both shades are beautiful. So I definitely have been loving the Morphe concealer. The last two things from Morphe are two eyeliners. So you guys know I've been talking about the fact that I'm on the hunt for like good affordable liners. Well, girl, let me put you on to a really great eyeliner. So the first one here is the Morphe Felt Tip Liquid Liner. This one is in the shade Ink, and this is what it looks like right here. It is honestly, just like it says, it's just a black felt tip eyeliner. But this eyeliner specifically goes from like thick to super, super thin. You could definitely get such a precise eyeliner with this product. It is amazing. So most of the time I don't do a wing liner, but as you guys can see today, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do like to take a liner like this and just run it across that lash line before I apply the lashes and after. It gives me almost that liner effect without having to do a whole wing liner. You know, sometimes I just want to line my lash line to put on my lashes. Um, it does help with like the gap in between the fake lash and your lash so it's always like a little hack that I like to do it's super pigmented and the best part is it's a matte black liner there's no shine to it whatsoever so I've been loving this besides that one I also love this right here this is the morphe liquid liner in the shade tea spill this is a dark brown liner. It's actually the liner that I'm wearing today over the lashes. I did the same method that I just told you guys. I kind of just lined the lash line, but I used the dark brown. So this one is really beautiful as well. It is so nice. The only difference between this one and the first one I just showed you guys is this one is an actual liquid liner, which it has like the container and then it has the brush. So I know not a lot of people like this kind of liner, but you guys, it is so good. And just like the other one, this is also a felt tip liner, so it's super, super easy to use. So this right here is the shade Tea Spill from Morphe. It's a beautiful, kind of like deep, I feel like it's like an espresso brown. It looks a little bit lighter because the lights are so bright in here, but it's a little bit darker than what it looks like right here. It's a very, very pretty, and it does dry down to a matte finish. And then right next to that is the Morphe Black Felt Tip Eyeliner. So definitely, if you guys are on the market for a good eyeliner, check out Morphe. So my next favorite I feel like is probably not going to be a surprise as well. This is the Morphe and Madison Beer Lip Gloss in the shade Mercury. You guys, I am obsessed with this gloss. It is so beautiful. It's literally like the perfect nude gloss 
it's gorgeous let me just swatch it for you guys I love the fact that it's almost like a more cool tone color I really really like it a lot and it goes with a lot of my makeup looks so there's the color right there it is so beautiful like I said it's more of a cool tone and nude and I love the fact that it's not too dark it's more of like a lighter color you guys it's beautiful and I recently seen on the Morphe website that their collabs were all like 40% or 50% off so definitely definitely snag this lip gloss it is so good I love it and then I have another gloss to share with you guys that I've been obsessed with this is the artist couture gloss in uncensored 2.0 this is another gloss that I am obsessed with so this one's really cool because this one actually has a cooling sensation when you apply it to your lips and it also has a super unique applicator I just want to show you guys the applicator so here's what the gloss looks like right here I don't know if you guys can see the applicator but it almost has like a hole in the center and I don't know what that's there for maybe not to pick up too much product but I love the applicator because it's so pointy so you're able to really apply it to your lips really nicely, really not mess up like that Cupid's bow area. It's so good. So this one right here is Mercury from the Madison Beer and Morphe collection. And then this swatch over here is actually the Artist Couture Lip Gloss in Uncensored 2.0. So both really pretty. Now that I'm looking at them side by side, they're actually pretty similar. So can you tell what kind of glosses I like? Because yeah, those look pretty similar. The Madison Beer definitely has a little bit more pink than the Artist Couture and it's definitely a little bit more pigmented than the Artist Couture. It's beautiful. Honestly, I should put on some gloss. Should we? No, I'm not going to put it on because I don't want to mess up my lip. But I love those glosses. You guys know when I really love something and I think it's amazing, I order backups. So yes, I'm here to tell you that I did order backups. I ordered two more of the Madison Beer and two more of the Artist Couture because honey, I need it at all times. That's all I'm gonna tell you. So let's move on to hair products really quickly. I wanted to talk about my favorite hairspray. You guys, let me just tell you, it's affordable. It does not leave your hair white whatsoever. If you wanna put hairspray in your hair the first day that you wash and blow dry, flat iron, whatever you wanna do, and you have a little bit of puffiness or you just want your hair to stay in place when you go outside this hairspray you can use it the first day and your hair will feel super smooth even the next day and the day after that it is amazing I hate super hard hairsprays but I also hate a hairspray that doesn't hold my hair in place you know like I feel like that's the point of a hairspray this one holds it just enough it doesn't get too crispy but I'm still able to brush out the hairspray without getting all those white flakes in my hair the next day so the hairspray that I'm talking about is the Tresemme all day humidity resistance hairspray this is the number three it's called the firm control hairspray so this is what the container looks like right here and I get the big jumbo one this is 11 ounces of hairspray this lasts me a while and I get mine at Ulta. For this big canister of hairspray, I believe it's only about $5.99 or maybe $8.99, somewhere in that range, but still, that's very affordable for such a big hairspray. You guys, I swear by this hairspray, okay? I've tried more high-end hairsprays and they're nice, but I always, for some reason, go back to this one and it's just amazing. I got to the point where I was just like, girl, like you're going and spending money on all these different kind of hairsprays when you know you have one that you love. So I love this one. It's amazing. If you guys are on the market for a good hairspray that doesn't leave your hair flaky and white, this one is amazing and you're going to love it. So that is my favorite hairspray. And then next I want to talk about this product right here that's very new to me. I actually recently picked this up during the Sephora Holiday Savings Event. This is the Way Matte Pomade. So this is what the pomade looks like right here. It comes in a little tiny jar and I use this for my flyaways. So usually when I wash my hair I will let it dry overnight and then I will flat iron it the next day unless I'm using my Revlon dryer then I'll use that same day but most of the time I like to have my hair flat ironed especially for the colder months but the only problem that I've always had is I have a ton of flyaways you guys especially towards the top of my head like they're so stubborn no matter how much hairspray I put in my hair they don't go away so I was looking for something else that I can use to kind of like just tame them hold them in place but nothing that was gonna ruin the fact that I just finished washing my hair and it's freshly washed hair I didn't want anything that was gonna leave a residue or leave my hair crunchy so I ended up seeing a youtuber talk about this and I was like oh I definitely have to try that and I am here to tell you guys that this is amazing so it does have a scent to it it does smell like the typical whey products but it's not a strong scent so I use a very little bit of this and I kind of just work it in between my fingers and then I go ahead and just apply it to the hair and let me tell you 
this is amazing it is so so good usually pomades have a shiny finish but because this one is a matte finish it's almost like a miracle for your flyaways it is so bomb and like I said you need very little so if you have any problems with flyaways or you're just looking for like texture in the hair then definitely check this out I think you guys will really enjoy it okay guys so we're finally at the last product I feel like this was such a long favorites video and I didn't even have that much product, so I apologize. That just shows me that I talk way too much. Um, but I wanted to talk about this product really quickly. This one is sealed because I just bought it, but I get a lot of questions, like an overwhelming, actually, amount of questions on my teeth all the time. People are always like, girl, how do you get your teeth to be so white? And let me just show you guys exactly what I use. So besides the normal brushing your teeth, which is important, flossing your teeth, which is also important. I do brush my teeth morning and night. And at nighttime when I brush my teeth, obviously I brush it after I'm done eating when I know I'm not gonna eat or drink anything else unless it's like water. Um, but I do brush my teeth twice a day and I use the Colgate Optic White. It's the one in the red tube. That is my favorite toothpaste. I can't use anything else. I love it. It's amazing. It's a whitening toothpaste. It's Bob. But here and there, occasionally, when I feel like my teeth need a little bit of a pick-me-up, I will go in with these, and I use them every few months. There's not really a time that I decide I want to use them. It's kind of just when I'm, like, brushing my teeth or looking in the mirror or, like, filming, and I look at my teeth, and I'm like, mm we definitely need to whiten, um, then I'll go in with these. So these are the Crest 3D White Strips. This is the Dental Whitening Kit. This one is in Classic White. So this box right here comes with 10 treatments. After the 10 treatments, your teeth should be a few shades lighter. Of course, it depends on how yellow your teeth are at the moment, which is honestly nothing to be ashamed of. Sometimes yellowing comes from coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, if you're a tea drinker, if you smoke cigarettes, like yellow teeth comes from everything like that. So it's definitely super important to take care of them. Um, but I use these, they're amazing. I've been using them for years. Like I said, I use them every so often when I feel like I wanna whiten my teeth just a little bit more. Usually I get the one that's the sensitive one. They do have a sensitive version. If you're someone who has tried whitening products and you notice that you get sensitive to like cold things or hot things or your teeth just start to bother you, definitely check out the sensitive version of the Crest White Strips. They're really good. And I know a lot of people that use these and also love them. So I quickly wanted to mention that. That's definitely a favorite of mine. That one is a sealed box because I just bought it. I'm actually going to whiten my teeth right after this video because I'm starting the treatments again. Um, but that is basically it. That is my little trick or my little secret, if you will, on how I keep my teeth nice and white. And that's finally all of my favorites for the month of November. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down below if you guys have tried these products before. Also, leave me some recommendations. Let me know what you guys think about this look. And if you want to see a tutorial, girl, just leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell icon down below next to the subscribe button so that way you guys can get notified every single time I post a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!